the real reason 50 Cent walked away from Dr. Dre. Now we all know 50 Cent is the king of hustle and a mastermind behind some of the biggest hits in hip hop history. But what made him turn his back on the legendary Dr. Dre, the very man who helped him launch his career? Was it creative differences, a clash of egos, or something even deeper? Let's get into it. So let's start from the beginning. 50 Cent launched onto the scene in 2003 with his debut album, Get Rich or Die Trying. This album was a game changer. It debuted at number one in over 15 countries and sold 12 million copies worldwide. That's insane for a debut album, especially for a hip hop artist. But here's what made this album so special. Get Rich or Die Trying was filled with bangers, but In The Club was the track that really put 50 Cent on. The production was fired thanks to Dr. Dre, and 50's delivery was on point. This wasn't just a club anthem, it was a statement. 50 Cent was here, and he wasn't going nowhere. But let's not forget, 50 Cent didn't do it alone. Dr. Dre and Eminem played massive roles in his success. Dre's production and M's backing through Shady Records was crucial. The support gave 50 the platform he needed to shine. It was like the perfect storm of talent and opportunity. Fast forward to 2005 and 50 drops The Massacre. This album was another massive success, earning a diamond plaque for selling over 10 million units in the US alone. Songs like Candy Shop and Just a Little Bit dominated the charts. 50 was on the top of the world, but things started to get real complicated. By 2014, 50 Cent decided to leave Aftermath Interscope. There were disagreements, projects were getting pushed back, and 50 wanted more control over his music. In an official statement, he confirmed the split but insisted it wasn't on bad terms. So what really happened? According to DJ Premier, Dr. Dre once blocked him from working with 50 during the early 2000s. Premier wanted to drop a 50 Cent record as the first single for a compilation album, but Dre stepped in to block it. Why though? He did that because at the time, 50 was causing a lot of drama with songs like How to Rob, and Dre wasn't sure if it was the right move. This just shows how much control Dre had over 50's career at one point. DJ Premier even said, Fat Joe signed me to Terror Squad. And we were supposed to do a project like a compilation album, the way Khaled does his. And the first single I was going to drop was a 50 Cent record. This was when everybody wasn't really messing with 50 to the fullest. Because he was having too much drama after doing How to Rob. And me and Fifth hit it off right away and clicked when I got on the phone with him. He said he would do the record. And right when it was about time to do the record, we get a call that Fifth can't do it. I'm like, why not? And they like, he's about to sign to Eminem and Dr. Dre. And I'm like, no, because we already committed to us. And I talked to Dre and Dre was like, Prem, I love you, but he's not doing any more recording until he does his debut album. All right, so that's what DJ Premier said. But despite all the drama, 50 and Dre have always had a complicated yet productive relationship. In an interview with Big Boy, 50 confirmed that Dre is working on tracks for his upcoming projects right now. This is huge news. Fans have been waiting almost a decade for a new album from 50. His last release was Animal Ambition in 2014. Fifth mentioned that Dre always has something in the studio that he's excited about. When Dre plays a new track, he watches everyone's reaction. If they vibe with it, it's a go. This process has led to some of 50's biggest hits, like 21 Questions. Fun fact though, Dre didn't originally think 21 Questions fit with 50's gangster persona. He thought it was too much of a love song, but 50 insisted, and it ended up being his second Billboard Hot 100 number one hit. This duality is what makes 50 Cent so unique. He's always been able to balance the hardcore street image with more commercial, radio-friendly tracks. It's not just diversity for 50, it's a necessity. He's had to be two people his entire life to get by. 50 even said, Dre was like, how you going to be gangster this and that, and then put this sappy love song on? But I told him, I'm two people. 
I've always had to be two people since I was a kid to get by. To me, that's not diversity. It's necessity. Now, let's talk about the future. 50 Cent is gearing up to drop new music, and he's got Dre in his corner. This could be a major comeback for 50. He's hinted at some serious heat coming our way, and I'm hyped to see what they cook up in the studio. But what about a versus battle, though? Unfortunately, Tony Yayo says 50's not interested. Yayo believes that 50 is on a different level now because of his multiple streams of income in a busy schedule. But imagine a 50 cent versus battle. That would be legendary. Drop a comment down below if you want to see that happen. 50 Cent's journey from the streets of Queens to becoming one of the best selling rappers of all time is nothing short of remarkable. His albums Get Rich or Die Trying and The Massacre are classics. And his relationship with Dr. Dre has been both a blessing and a challenge. Despite leaving Aftermath Interscope, 50 continues to make waves in the music industry. And with new music on the horizon, we can't wait to see what's next. So what do y'all think? Is 50 Cent poised for a major comeback? Will his new tracks with Dr. Dre be the next big thing? And would you want to see him in a versus battle? Let me know down below in the comment section. Personally, I think 50 Cent and Dr. Dre are about to drop some serious heat. I don't know about a versus battle though. It's been pretty tough getting rappers at that level to agree to do a versus battle. Whether it's 50 Cent, Eminem, or even Jay-Z, they seem to not be too interested. But again, I do think 50 Cent will show up with some new heat soon. I'm happy 50 Cent and Dr. Dre was able to work out their differences and start making music again. It's clear that no matter how much money and success 50 Cent gains, he'll always respect the order of command when it comes to business. I remember 50 even saying something like, Eminem to him is like Dr. Dre to Eminem. Let's give Dr. Dre major props for being the nucleus for so many legendary artists. Whether it's Snoop Dogg, Eminem, 50 Cent, and many more, Dr. Dre has something major to do with their success. Dre gets a bad rap sometimes for being such a perfectionist. But in my opinion, sometimes that's what it takes to be great. You know when you go in the studio with Dr. Dre, you're not just going to have your way. No matter how much you've achieved in your career, you'll still have to humble yourself amongst one of the all-time great producers. I remember even when 2 Chainz went on Drink Champs and he talked about his experience with Dr. Dre in the studio and how tough it was. Even after all the records he sold and all the big artists he's performed with, 2 Chainz still had to humble himself amongst one of the all-time great producers and Dr. Dre and get it right. Despite all the challenges, I'm sure 50 Cent is still grateful for both Eminem and Dr. Dre though. Click the video on the screen to hear why 50 Cent passed on a $1.7 million deal to sign with Eminem. Peace.